Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can edit with Sony Vegas. This is going to be kind of a beginner tutorial. I made one a couple of months back, maybe like eight or nine. I'm not, not really sure, but I said if we hit a thousand likes on that video, we would have gotten another tutorial, another uh, updated version. And we did, we hit a thousand ninety four likes today. So yeah, I'm gonna get into it. Um, if you guys want uh, maybe a Cinema 4D tutorial or Adobe Premiere uh, Pro tutorial, like any video editor, I'll be happy to do it. Just um, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Maybe if we hit 800 likes, I'll be doing another one. Just leave which editors you want. Just for an update for my, my you know, my subscribers, I just got my G7. So it looks really cool. Records in 4K. I don't think I'll be uploading in 4K though because that's gonna be a long time and it's also gonna take a long time to render so I'll probably just downscale it to 1080p but yeah let's get into the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button let's get into it I'm, I gotta admit like a couple of months ago when I made the you know the past video the the non-updated version I didn't know how to use Sony Vegas and um, now that I've used it for maybe like eight months now I think I've got a better hang of it I've edited in real life videos as well as vlogs cinematic films and stuff like that as well as tutorials obviously so i think i know how to operate it you know it's it's a really good editor um it isn't as complicated as it seems um it's pretty easy the first thing you want to do is obviously go to file new and then here you'll see your project settings and you just want to enter the ones that you know your your image or your video is so minus 1080p at 30 fps um you can check your camera if you're filming with your camera and stuff like that um what it records in just to match with it the first thing you want to do is import media and since i don't have any media and i don't want to do like make a video of me commentating over like call of duty gameplay i'll just go on to videasy.com free hd stock footage and 4k videos um it's the best site for this type of stuff it's free non-copyrighted you can commentate over it obviously because you won't get striked for it and stuff like that you know you could get striked for call of duty gameplay and stuff like that there'll be a link in the description for you guys to check that out you can search up keywords, maybe New York City, um, beaches, and here as you can see, this is a one minute video of a beach. I think it's a time lapse. Um, obviously, you can just like, you know, fast forward it, but you just want to press download, obviously. And here you can uh, use this to edit. So maybe in, maybe you're a tutorial channel and you want to edit a video like I am right now, you can obviously do that. So let me just wait till this downloads. I know, sorry, but um, sometimes you gotta let it download, you know what I mean? Okay, so it's done downloading. So now all you want to do is you can either drag it here. Obviously, it's not done downloading. Oh my god! Sorry, the text is white. I can't see that. It's not my fault. Okay, now I believe it is done. So you can either drag it here, right, or you can, you know, press File O or Open. Uh, let me just import my intro here, and you can just select it. Obviously, so yeah, pretty easy, right? And here are just like some um transitions project media so project media is what you import um your video effects obviously you can just like press this as well and it shows the video effects here's the preview you can actually show the preview quality so the best preview quality full or draft maybe your computer is slow can handle like very good footage so you would have to set it as a lower um project uh preview quality so here you can see draft it looks so what you can do here is, you know, fast forward it to make a time lapse. I'm pretty smart here. Um, you know, incorporating this type of stuff. And here you can press control. Here you want to press control and you can drag it back. This is to slow-mo it or like, I guess, make it slower and fast forward it right here. So if you press play, uh, I just want to delete this right here. Or you can mute the track. You just want to press play. And as you can see, it gets faster. And another thing to do if you want to make it even faster is you can press insert video envelopes event velocity and you can go here and then it'll get faster. That's at least how I do my time lapses. It's really good. And here you can add a transition. So you want to press transition and this is the one I use for my videos. You just want to drag it. And then if you press play, let me mute this. It'll appear like bang ooh that looks really nice and obviously you can move the tracks all uh, you know up and down obviously um you can make them smaller 
just so it saves a little bit of space because I know it does take up a lot of space. Maybe your music track, you can do that because you probably wouldn't be editing it. To insert a new track, you can either drag the media on it or you can press insert audio or video track. Usually what I do is I edit like the video of my face. Obviously this is my face, but I would go on to the video effects here, right? Or I would drag it on here, but but I use Magic Bullet Lux. Um, it's good for color grading. I'll leave that in the description as well. Big. Oh, I smelt magic on here. I'm gonna drag it there. Just make sure it's on preview quality as the preview quality because some reason it crashes if it doesn't. I don't know why. But here you can see that's the beach and here you can edit stuff. Like maybe that. Um, You can edit. There's a lot of presets and stuff like that. And obviously there's more than just like that, right? There's black and white color contrast, color balance, color curves. Like there's a lot. There's more than you can count, right? There's other stuff like shortcuts. So you can press S to split. You can press Control C to copy, Control V to paste. There's also options at the bottom here. So there's stuff like um, shuffle tools, slip tools, slide tools, split trip tools, time stretch compress tool. I don't use any of that. I just use the normal editing tool and some of the shortcuts. Like I don't really see the point like of these options where you do that. You can just press S then delete. You know, it, it saves a lot more time than just pressing it, right? And finding it. If you want to bookmark a certain like place, uh, maybe it's that certain place where um, someone gets shot, you can press M, right? And then you can type someone got shot by a bird and then there you can do that if you have audio here you can actually lower it and stuff like that make the gain lower you can actually lower the decibels as well um same thing with the you know the actual video you can make it less opaque opaque op opac opacity opacity i don't know someone made fun of me last uh, video about that so i don't really know how to say it. you can move multiple clips by um, you know control selecting all of them and just moving them You can press play you can go to previous frame You can go to the start go to the end press play stop And if you want to save a certain, you know part of the video as an image you can just press save here And then it'll appear just like go in your project media. It should be there somewhere, right? It's not why is it not? I was right here. Sorry a little bit angry and then here as you can see it's right there you can also crop stuff so just press that crop tool you can zoom out and zoom in crop and stuff like that so if you see that right so here let me i'm on my other monitor right now but you can see that i'm cropping it and stuff you can also track and stuff like that um you know you can zoom in slowly i'll show you how to do that right now so here you just want to take it you want to press like a little bit ahead. You want to zoom in like z that much once. And then you want to go to the end and then you want to zoom in fully. And then if you go there, it kind of zooms in, zooms in, right? You can move that. You can make that um part faster by, you know, obviously fast forwarding it. Like I taught you a uh, good, good guy, Steven Van. And then bang, as you can see, it looks really cool. Another thing you can do is fade out by, you know, obviously fading like that. Just drag at the top right corner and it could do that for you. Magic. So as you can see, if you press it, bang, disappear into the oceans. You can also use transitions for that as well. I believe there's a fade transition. Um, there's a bunch of transition more than you can count. There's also a zoom transition. I'm so smart. Does this work? Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I never used it, so I wouldn't know. It's kind of laggy. It's kind of laggy. Wait, I just saw something that was pretty cool. Um, it's a different transition, you know, not like how I did it because, um, I'm Steven. For some reason, sometimes like this stuff disappears. Maybe the preview disappears. It's very easy to get back. All you have to do is go into view and you want to go in the window and then you want to press on video preview and project media. So you can show like what things are, um, like showing plugin manager. I don't show any of this stuff. I only show the uh, video preview to see the video, project media to, you know, put in the project media, transitions for transitions and video effects for video effects. Um, I don't see the point of putting anything else, just crowds it a lot more. You can also like add text and stuff, right click, press um, enter text media, and then you can type in cool stuff. And it uses the fonts that are available, um, you know, the ones you've downloaded, so don't worry. Um, it doesn't have like default fonts like the ugly ones and stuff like that. You can change the color. 
change opacity you know what i mean Opa opacity i don't know what how to say it but here you can see that you can scale it make it smaller make it bigger make it animation bold it or you can also add a background to it you can make it track oh that looks nice so here you can like make it red and then slightly a little bit red so it's kind of opaque opacity. i don't know how to say it but and that's about it there's nothing really else i can tell you um, you know, it's a simple editor. There's simple features. Um, it does have pretty good like video effects features, the built-in ones. Um, you can also download one separately. So, you know, like third-party ones. But yeah, that's about it. There's really nothing else I can talk to you about. But you can check VidEasy in the description. And you can check the download to um, Sony Vegas. Uh, don't crack it, please. But, but that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit that thumbs up button. My name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.